Hey everyone, just wanted to do a little video tutorial on the new Samsung 5.8 cubic foot double door gas range. This is probably the closest you're going to get to a commercial oven in your own home for the price. And I got to be honest with you, this thing is very, very nice. So let's go over some of the features here. Um, so once again, it is a double oven. And if I wanted to cook just on the top here, a little lever, all I'm going to do is push that in. And I'm just going to open up that top door. Okay. If I wanted to put some cookies in there, great. I don't have to use the entire oven. If I wanted to use the bottom, or if I wanted to use this oven as a whole, all I'd have to do is take the handle and pull on that, and there you go. So there's your bottom shelf, okay? There's your top, there's your fans right there for your convection. All right. And there's your divider, all right? This divider slides in and out. And what's nice about this divider is, if I'm cooking a turkey down here, and maybe some cookies up here, I'm not going to get that mixture of flavors, because this is going to prevent a barrier. Okay, now once again, if I slide this out, I can take it out, put it on my countertop, and I can use this oven as a whole if I was cooking something bigger. And you can see up on the screen here, it's saying that the insert divide has been removed. So, once again, just take it out and put it up on the table somewhere. Now, if I wanted to use the top and the bottom to cook two separate things, I just slide that back in, and this says here select cavity. And what that means is I can select if I want to cook on the top the bottom or both at the same time all right so let's take a look at the screen here it is a solid glass at least that's how it feels to me i can hit upper i can hit bake roast or broil convection on both okay if i wanted to do the lower i just come over here and hit lower and i can set the time and the bake temperature and all that all right so Come over here, look at the knobs. The one thing that my wife and I were always nervous about with children, you know, them coming over here and playing with the knobs. Before we went to bed, oh, is the, is the gas still on? Maybe they mess with something. And we always put the child proof on there, but sometimes they weren't always foolproof. They would come and rip them off. What's nice about this is that all you got to do is turn this a little bit, and that light comes on. And that's with all of these here. And that's saying, hey, listen, you better come and check this to make sure that these these burners are off okay in case the kids were playing with them or maybe you just forgot to shut the stove off that's going to tell you to come back over and, and take a look you have oven lights in here they're actually very bright and how you control those as you can see there's no back part to this so if i wanted to mess with the lights here i can go for the upper light if i wanted to put the low light on on the second shelf click that on the low you can see that's on now and that's off if i wanted both of them i would just click that to all and you can see all okay so let's look at the burners this is a 22,000 btu range it heats up very quick and the flames are very hot what i like about that is i use a wok a lot okay the other neat neat little feature here is the wok holder and you can see that it's able to be removed if you need it a lot of other stoves if you were to put a wok on them you know they, they get somewhat hot but the flame doesn't really come up around the bowl and you just have the heat here this right here allows those flames to come up around the sides of the wok and really gets it nice and hot so that's an added plus okay you got a burner here smaller burner here for maybe some soup or sauce you got burner here burner here and then you got a large griddle very nice you can do the smooth side if you're making panini you can use this side here you have a large burner in the middle back here's the vent all right on the older model that i had the vent would actually come out around up around the microwave and it wouldn't even go up underneath the uh the vent hood this right here goes directly underneath the microwave so that's very nice and you can also see that they made this little extender that goes over top of the countertops so you don't have to really worry about digging down for crumbs in between your stove and your countertops anymore with a toothpick or a uh, file or whatever. Um, so they solve that problem. Now, the one thing I will say about this range that uh, you know I'm a little disappointed in is the Wi-Fi. You can see here that there's a little Wi-Fi symbol here. And there's an app that you can download on your phone. I tried it on the iPad. It didn't work. 
Um, but I just can't get this range to hook up to the Wi-Fi. And the only thing this really does is it allows you to adjust the heat, you know, or turn the stove off if you want. You know, if you're outside, you have a picnic, you know, you say, hey, I need to cook that roast a little faster. You know, you can adjust that on your phone. I wouldn't use that all that much anyway, so it's not really a big deal to me. But if it's part of the stove, I would assume that it should work. Um, and I just can't get the hook up. I'm no, no way, shape, or form an expert when it comes to computers, but um, I'm somewhat savvy. And for some reason, like I said, maybe I just got to play with it a little bit more. I just can't get it to hook up. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But you can turn the Wi-Fi off. Um, you basically come over here and, you know, you can adjust your clock. All right, your time. You know, there's so many options here. You can decide if you want it in Fahrenheit or Celsius, you know, the heat. You know, you can do it in military time, do it in regular time. You know, so many different things that you can adjust on this, this range. It's, it's really unbelievable. They, they really stepped it up when it came to, you know, the uh, technology on these things. So, once again, uh, I hope this helps. Just a small little review that I wanted to do for you all. Hi there, just wanted to give a quick look at the LG model LSE 5613 slide-in range. Not a whole lot of information out there on this range and that's why I wanted to do a little quick look at this range. Okay, yeah, it was delivered to me about a week ago. You guys brought it in. Uh, they come with these here little anti-tip brackets. You can install against the wall, keep your range from tipping over. Um, this thing's not tipping over. Uh, I guess if you uh, stood on top of the oven door, you know, maybe. Well, I don't think you can tip it over that way. You'd probably break the door off. Anyways, here's a look at it. Uh, the inside, first impression is wow. But you know what? It's been kind of like a feature when people come over. Everybody seems to like it. And it cleans out really, really quick. It comes with a nice little cleaning bottle as well. Uh, don't happen to have it in the room right at the moment. But anyways, um, glass cooktop. I've never had one before. They are a challenge to clean. Um, there are cleaners. I've used Barkeeper's Friend. Works quite nicely. Didn't, didn't scratch it at all. Uh, no matter what cleaner I use, when I'm done, I always keep a bottle of just straight vinegar around. Just give it a few squirts, wipe it off with a microfiber cloth, and it's nice and shiny all over again. Uh, as far as the front, um, you know, when you're cooking anything that splatters a lot of grease, it's going to get all over everything in the front here. But, nice thing they've done with this is you just pop the knob off. Easy to clean around it then. So all these knobs just slide off the same way. As well as to turn them on, some people had mentioned with these ranges that they turn them on by accident well not sure how you do it because you have to actually lean into it to turn it okay simple as that uh, with these two front burners you've got two different settings there's a single dot on the high here that's using just the inner burner and then on the other side there's two dots on the high and that side is using both burners. Just let, me, let it go for a second so you can see both burners on there. Okay, and you've got the back burner. You've got a warming zone in the center of the back. Um, controls on this side, you've got your oven control. You've got your back burner again. And you've got a super large front burner, which again, has the inner ring and the outer ring. You get a nice little chime every time you turn the heat on. As well as you've got a hot surface indicator. Now, that, you know, I only had that on for a second, so, you know, it's, it's warm to the touch. I'm a little surprised that the hot surface indicator hasn't come on at this point, but as soon as you put a pot on there, you'll, you'll get that that hot surface indicator will come on right away. Okay, here's your oven controls. Convention, convection bake. So when you've got it on convection bake or convection roast, it's using the fan in the back. Okay. The fan is right at the very back here. 
as well as your heating element is at the very back as well and you've got a broiling element at the top okay so when you want to uh, want to turn this guy on you um, you got a lot of different ways you can do it okay so okay so let's say I want to cook with convection bake I can hit cook time I can put in the time Okay, so I've got two minutes. I can press start. Okay, now it's timing down for two minutes. Now, when you when you do it this way, of course, you're not preheated yet. So we've only got 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Let's just stop this here. Okay, so your regular, when you turn it on convection bake, you want to start it, you press start. and it will start, the temperature gauge will start going up until it hits 350 and then you'll get uh, a chime as well as the oven lights will flash on and off. Just to let you know that it's preheated. Okay, you've got uh, start time, you've got clock, you've got a lockout feature. You just press and hold. Maybe that's not the correct way to use that. I'll have to look at my manual. Yeah, anyways, you got your timer. Okay, so your timer and in increments. It goes really quick if you, if you hold it. Those are minutes. Again, with the timer, you want it to count down, press start. Anytime anything on here is flashing, you have to press start or it's not actually activating. Okay, so I just turned the timer off. I'm just going to show you that one more time. So let's go to broil high. It's flashing broil. It's not actually, the oven's not working at this time. You got to press start. Okay, at that time, the broiler will start working. The indication there is showing three red lights at the top of the oven. That's just a, a little visual indication. Anyways, um, don't want to go over too much here. It's going to be a long video. This is the, uh, the little plate in the back, filler plate. Works out really nice. There's a little um, recess in the back for your where your plug would be. As long as your plug is in the right location, it tucks away so that your plug can actually, your range can actually push right in nicely to the wall. There is gaps on the side. Well, I, my countertops were 30 and one quarter inches from left to right. Uh, had they been 30 inches, it probably would have been a nice tight fit. However, um, there's ways around that. I don't know if I want to put a silicone bead in there or not. I could do that, but you know, food will get trapped in the silicone as well. I think you're just as easy to uh, slide your range out once in a while, clean it up. Just look at the side fit. There's a little drawer at the bottom here. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad. You can fit a couple of bigger pans in there. But the nice thing is the actual range itself is its a huge inside. We did three sheets of cookies in here just before Christmas and uh, they turned out great. You know, piled one sheet on one rack, another on the second, and then the third on the third rack and it worked out really well. Anyways. Um, there's another model. Uh, this is the Canadian version, this model number, uh, the American version. Uh, I'm not sure what the number is, but it's slightly different. But it is the Pro Bake by LG. Alright, thanks for watching.